Well, Merry Christmas. Although it's the day after Christmas. I am in Wickenburg, Arizona, and I might be hiking that peak, but I'm not totally sure. I think it's something higher and further. It's called Vulture Peak. According to the track I have, it is 4.9 miles round trip with um, about 1,200 foot of elevation gain. Although the track looks a little convoluted, so if we're efficient, it might be like four and a half or something. Um, but it's 40 degrees. Luckily, it's nine o'clock. If I got here earlier, it would have been freezing. So we walk on this road for a little bit, and then we, uh, sorry, I'm chilly, because I just have shorts and a t-shirt on. And then we branch up left at some point, and I think the peak's up there, but not completely sure. This is uncharted territory for me. Just wanted to bag a little peak, and then I'm gonna go do another little peak near Anthem on the way back, and then run some errands and stuff. So, yeah, there are some footprints here, so I guess that's a good sign. So we walked on a dirt road for a quarter mile and then it dropped us into this wash. We're walking in the wash for a little bit, but then we're gonna bang a hard left out of this wash to start, we've lost sight of the peak, but to start heading towards the peak, um, I have the map. I'm assuming this isn't gonna be well marked, although there are a lot of footprints in this wash. Um, but at some point we gotta bang a left and I don't know how well marked this is gonna be, or if it's just gonna be an off-trail adventure. Didn't dig into this quite a, a lot. Um, uh, obstacles in the wash. Um, so yeah, not sure exactly what this is gonna entail. There might be some scrambling up high near the summit, but I don't think it's gonna be too bad, especially with the amount of footprints I'm seeing here. Well, we left the wash and there actually is a road. I was looking for this like faint use trail. There's like this big road that comes up out of the wash. So heading up, I, th I think that's the peak that you're seeing up there, the big flat part, but I'm not sure. So, we're gonna follow this road as, as long as it takes us and then uh, things could get adventurous. There's a lot of nice big acatillos. So we're still heading up this road. I think straight for the peak and it looks like we'll go up that sort of gully to on the right side. Maybe hit a notch or a saddle and then have to go up the ridge or the backside. But yeah, definitely no navigation so far. It's just walking on a road and a little bit in a wash. So still have quite a bit to climb, as you can see, but we've, there's the road out there. We've come from probably more to the right where you can't see, but have probably only come up, I don't know, two, 300 feet. Not that much, and maybe a mile. Oh look, we got a uh, we got a gate with some signs. Maybe this is where the real hiking starts and the road stops. Let's check it out for you. It's a nice little fence. Vulture Peak. I don't know why this is all. These signs are really messed up. They need new signs. Grass the glass is cracked um yeah this is not uh this is not showing us anything but this apparently is the start of the actual trail for vulture peak so i'll check in as i get higher up well the trail's definitely going up much steeper than the road so we're winding our way unless the summit's over there i'm just thinking the summit's there and we're heading up over there but we could head up here and it might be to the left. So this sort of reminds me of Picket Post. It's not as hard of a hike as Picket Post in terms of elevation gain and all that, but just the rock and the approach 
coming up. It's sort of like when you're looking at some of these rocks starting up the approach to picket post, in my opinion. Yeah. So I just ran 29 miles about on trails on uh, two days ago. So my legs are a little stiff and tight, but they're not too bad. <sighs> but I am not trying to push this or run or anything like that. I just want to make this a nice, nice, easy walk in the park. So I'll check in higher up. We've come quite a bit from the road out there. Definitely very Picacho and Picket Post-esque. I'm adding Picacho to the list for the trail. Heading up to the Picacho saddle. So where you see, we're getting up in here. We've come up, we just shot up like four or 500. No? Looks like the high point to me. Oh, maybe it's over there. Ah, we've got a summit marker. Yeah, pretty close. Um, yeah, it's nice up here. Look at these views. Ah, what's all that smoke? Um, so yeah, I need to orient myself here, which so I, I think those are the white tanks. Yeah. I think those are the white tanks that we're seeing. Still not completely sure. And then as we pan out, there's four peaks way out there. Wow. And then I guess that's the Bradshaws out in the distance there. Yeah, those are definitely the white tanks there. Um, and then you're looking in, I don't know if you can see all the way to Kofa Wildlife Refuge, whatever it's called. I mean, yeah, those, the, I don't know what the mountains are way out there. You're not seeing out to California. We're not that close. Um, 
Ah, there's a summit summit box. Someone left a bottle of iced tea. What the hell's going on? So yeah, summit registry in the box. I'm not gonna sign it. Um, but yeah, there's Wickenburg that you're seeing right there. Wickenburg is just a little over 2,000 feet elevation. Founded, I forget what year it was, in the 1800s, 1860 or something. So, small little town, although it looks kind of big from up here. Um, and you can go through Wickenburg and that'll take you up to Kingman. You can drive another, I don't know what it is, 120 miles or something up to Kingman. Um, and that'll be your way you get to Las Vegas. You drive up right through Wickenburg, up, up, up to the north, northwest area of the state. Um, so yeah, Vulture Peak, this is easy um, if you're fine with Camelback, Picket Post, Flatiron, um, Picacho, all that. This is right in the same vein. So good little hike, not too bad. You know, steep little push the last three quarters of a mile, but um, where you gain probably over a thousand feet or about a thousand feet, um, but pretty, pretty tame. So I'm going to head down. I got to get a picture for the thumbnail and then uh, I will see you on the next hike. Merry Christmas. But before we get to the next hike, I figured I'd at least show you what it looks like going down this gully. So you can see it's it's pretty steep, but it's very stable rock. There's nothing loose. It's all stable rock, so you just step down, you know, if you need to sit on your butt. Um, you know, but there's ample holds everywhere using a tree here. So, you know, you just step down however you see fit. It's probably, it will take longer to get down this little part than it did to get up, to be honest. Because up you can just go. Down you at least gotta be somewhat careful. So this is what this gully looks like down to the saddle. It'll ease up a little bit at the bottom, but just a short little, you know, 250 foot push or something. It's nothing too bad. You can see our saddle right down there. So we are getting getting down there slowly but surely. Boop. I just don't want my key to fall into my pocket. I think I need to find like a hidden pocket in these shorts. I'm pretty sure there is one that'll hold keys. Anyway, headed down to the saddle. And then I don't know what that is over there. Maybe we should go check that other peak out.